Welcome to a quick sharp review of the Hellboy Omnibus box set. Um, I'm going to be going over the structure of the box set, a quick review of the series, uh, and then lastly some music that I liked listening to while reading it. Um, so the Hellboy Omnibus box set um, contains all four omnibuses uh, in the original Hellboy series um, by Mike Mignola. Um, just in terms of how big these are. Uh, this is a Berserk Deluxe for, for size reference and it looks sort of the same, if, if not actually a little bit bigger than, um, than, than Berserk is, which, which is great. It's huge. Um, there are paperbacks, uh, which, which are okay. We love hardbacks, but paperbacks are good anyway. And, um, and here's the different sides um, to, to this slipcase box. Um, so we've got Hellboy here, our main character, and then um, some other characters that, that, that up throughout the series with this amazing artwork um, uh, by Mignola um, and then going through so these are all just people and, and things that, that pop up throughout the series really amazing artwork um, in this entire series going through the books themselves so as I said it contains the four omnibuses here the thing that frustrates me about this release though is that there's these four which make up the core um, uh, Hellboy storyline. Obviously, the Hellboy universe is is much bigger than than just these four. Um, uh, but but you can't make that into a whole box set. But what they should have really put in this box is um is is the the short story collections um that that are released in the same format, so they're the same size as this. Uh, they're 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 supposed to be thought of as one big package. That these four and then those two. Um, but but they've only put in these uh in, into this box. Which is a bit of a shame. Um, uh, the short stories are fantastic. They're not, I, you know, they're not essential to the entire Hellboy reading experience, in, in my opinion. And I know that because I've just been reading through these ones, um, and it's been a long time since I read um, the the short stories. And while there is some um, uh, some emotional, re you know, resonance you, you you get would get from from reading more of the universe, I don't think you absolutely 100% need to read um, every short story to get it. There are, there, are, there is one or two that, that I'll talk about it in, in a little bit, but just going through each of the books. So each of them has this um, uh, has amazing cover art, again, by Mignola. Whoops. Um, uh, maybe I'll put those down. Uh, so this is um, Seed of Destruction. This contains the first two volumes um, of, of Hellboy, and, and then uh, after that it sort of gets a bit... Um, messy because some of the short stories were in the original volumes and then they were taken out. Uh, some some were uh, uh, placed in these and um, and then others were taken out and um, and put into the short story collections. Um, you can see the binding here. I think it's pretty good. Um, it doesn't, you know, the spine doesn't bend too much when you're opening it up. Um, so that's the first one there. Uh, then we've got. Hellboy Strange Places, interesting volume. Um, there's the spine, and there's the back there. All of these editions have, um, have, have some extra artwork and sketches at the back by Mignola. The Wild Hunt, which contains one of the biggest um, storylines in the Hellboy series. And then lastly, the, the smaller Hellboy in Hell, um, capping off the, the main um, Hellboy storyline. There's there. So uh, Hellboy is a series that I think um, has a lot of misconceptions around it from the public who haven't read it before. Um, when I Before I read Hellboy, I thought it was about... Uh, well, well I'd, I'd seen the movies as a kid, um, the, the, the Del Toro movies, which I think are great and, and, they're, and they're really fun, um, but I don't think they do the, the original series a, a, a good service. This is uh, a series that I think people regard as, you know, a rock and roll sort of gruff devil guy and he fights um, and he, he fights devils and, and it's all about hell and, and earth, which is part of it. But um, the part that really fascinated me when I started reading it was all of this sort of Lovecraftian um, Eldridge sort of element to it. Um, it's very heavily inspired by Lovecraft, heavily inspired by... Um, uh, uh, um, uh, like all, all of Lovecraft's mates, like the Robert E. Howard uh, stories, like Conan stuff. Um, so while, you know, he is sort of gruff and he jokes around, this is at its 
at its you know very core a, a sort of dark fantasy horror story in my opinion um, and, and and reading this is sort of what what got me into into Lovecraft in in the first place which is now sort of one of my favorite um, some of my favorite stories uh, come come from Lovecraft and, and his contemporaries um, you, you have this um, story about about a young uh, Hellboy who who was summoned um, by Nazis um, uh, with, with with the help of some black magic, who then gets uh, brought up in in America to to become a, an agent of good, um, but you know he, he doesn't always get to choose his his destiny and and the whole series is about uh, him him sort of grappling with with who he was meant to be and and how he was born and and what he's meant to do and 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 there's all these forces that are sort of pushing him to to go in certain directions that he um that 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 he doesn't want to he, you know he wants to be a good person um uh but you know fate would have uh, other plans for him really really interesting story um the 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 pages as you can see the artwork is is really unique i uh, i didn't really like Mignola's artwork when i first read this but um uh, over time i've i've really gotten to um appreciate uh the different sort of artwork that he does it's a minimalist style and you can see he uses great um uh uh there's great blacks in in this um in in this series um there is a bit of bleed through on the pages that are white uh it's sort of hard to see them or show an example because there are there is so much use of black in in this um in this series but um and then you can see wake, wake the devil the second um b bigger storyline um i'd highly recommend anyone to read this there, there's there's mix of these lovecraftian elements but he, he's sort of made it his own in the same way that um uh, the, the game bloodborne did um there's there's a uh, mixing of of mythology and, and and fairy tales and and old legends and and of course there is sort of the the heaven and and hell um uh, sort of stuff as well um uh, there's a larger hellboy universe uh, including the spin-off um BPRD um which is a longer series and actually um you know it makes up the the vast majority of the of the hellboy um universe and and I I actually prefer that one a little bit to Hellboy, I think some of the Hellboy series um, are a little bit abstract. Um, I, I get more every time I read them, but um, I, I, I like the BPRD sort of uh, straightforward storyline um, with, 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 again, some of this Lovecraft and Robert E. Howard um, type of stories. <coughs> Sorry. Um, in terms of what I'd recommend um, listening to, I listen to uh, this playlist. I'll put, I'll put it in the description. It's a um, it's sort of like an Arkham horror, Eldritch horror type type of, of vibe. Again, I think some people think this is really like no 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 heavy metal and Hellboy's killing things. That's that's not what this series is about to me. It's about this really unsettling um, a vibe of of uh, creatures from other dimensions and space that we can't comprehend. Um, it's about uh, you know forces that that are unseen and and um, and, and are unparalleled. Um, and you know we have all these really creepy scenes of go of of you know people characters talking to other characters, and then at the end of the scene you find out that that you know, one of them was a ghost or it was just like a skeleton that they've been talking to. It's really these sort of creepy um, uh, things. And so it has this sort of slow vibe, I think. There are action scenes, but um, they're, they're few and far between as opposed to the atmosphere that's that's, that's brought um, uh, from from this series. So I, I think something moody and, and, and something dark um, uh, fits well, and I'll, I'll put that in the description. Um, have you read Hellboy? Have you just seen the movies? Um, I haven't watched the 2019 movie. Not really interested. I've heard it's pretty average. Um, let me know your thoughts on Hellboy and uh, any other series you think we should review next. Thank you.